Good morning, Wyvern. Welcome to this week's virtual assembly. The theme this week focuses on how we plan to recognise your efforts during this period of lockdown and remote learning, as well as a little bit of history and a little bit of research into the mix as well. So firstly, an overview um, to our end of term rewards. Now, these are new and would actually have taken place regardless of remote learning. Um, however, they would have been explained and the rationale behind it through your house assemblies instead of this virtual assembly now. Um, we've had to make adjustments, so we're going to emphasise these ones on remote learning, but once we're back, these will continue to feature um, at the end of the term, but based on school working. So the background for these awards comes from looking at ways to acknowledge your engagement with the activities that you do day in, day out, and provide a way to emphasise where you've gone above and beyond. So a good starting point uh, was to ask the question, what makes us Wyvern Academy? Um, and to answer that, that's where the history part comes in. So many of you will know, especially if you've got older members of the family that possibly came to the school, um, it used to be called Branksome. So the slide on the screen at the moment is a little bit of history um, explaining the Kitchen family. Um, they used to live in Branksome Hall. That is part of the land that the school now is currently on. They donated it to Darlington. Um, and you may have noticed in reception, um, the crest that's also featured in this picture is in our reception area, um, along with this explanation as well. Um, so again, big part of the community heritage. So on a side note as well, if you're interested, um, you could research our school motto while you're off and how it is connected to London 2012 Olympics. So you can see I've highlighted, highlighted sorry, the name Wyvern there um, and that links us to um, my next little bit of research or Google. So all in the name, so obviously we're called Wyvern now um, and the research highlighted some characteristics that were associated with the Wyvern and it explains why it's been adopted on coats of arms like the Kitchen Family Crest. It became clear, and again, the words are highlighted in red, that a lot of the characteristics, endurance, knowledge and inspiration, um, fit in with our school ethos and our existing climate for learning, growth and proud models of how we do things here. So it made sense to kind of adopt those as part of this process. So, Bringing that history and research together leads us to the categories for our end of term rewards. So endurance, the ability to withstand hardship or adversity, especially the ability to sustain a prolonged and successful effort. So pupils were nominated for this award if they've worked through a difficulty or have maintained a solid standard of effort throughout remote learning. Knowledge, facts, information and skills acquired through experience or educational and the theoretical or practical understanding of the subject. So pupils were nominated for this award if they've displayed a knowledge of a subject through regular remote learning work submissions to a good standard or by paper pack work. So I've spoken to Mrs Jarvis for people that are involved in that. Uh, and the last category, inspiration. So the process of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. So pupils were nominated for this award if they've gone above and beyond in a remote learning task, paper packs or in other aspects of their life during lockdown. So your teachers have been nominating within these categories for the past fortnight. Um, and when they've been compiled, you can see the different levels within a category and how it can be gained. So that's just the bottom section of that slide there. So we've got the bronze, silver and gold. And again, the number of nominations is reflected um, 
depending on the level that you would get. Now there's a bit of a, an extra element to this uh, process in, given our current time um, and you might have actually seen that because we put a post out on social media uh, last week asking for families if they would like to join in and give us some nominations um, and reading the many nominations that we've got in from families has been a real privilege uh, and for something that I already know that I work in a school full of amazing and resilient and kind young people um, and these are a few examples um, of some of the nominations that have come in. So reasons for the nominations include those who have demonstrated a positive mindset such as taking up new hobbies, implementing fitness and healthy eating regimes, Maintaining a work ethic that has included working evenings and weekends, so going well above the timetable. And continuing to push yourselves with existing interests. Some people have actually taken grading exams virtually while they've been off. Um, and other people have performed on VE Day. Um, so again, some amazing. Um, and other nominations include checking in on friends who were dealing with their personal situation that wasn't sort of a very good place to be in. Um, and that aspect um, leads us on to some other nominations that have reasons kind of deeper rooted within the COVID-19 global pandemic. So such as understanding and supporting decisions that involved NH staff within their families stepping up uh, onto the front line, which must have been a very scary prospect, especially at the heart of the pandemic. Um, helping key worker parents with housework and cooking. Other pupils have been supporting their younger siblings with their home learning. Um, and sadly, we've also had families coping with illness bereavement and significant changes to personal circumstances within the family home and that has been recognised by families of a, a tough situation was even worse unfortunately. Um, but the overriding theme that I've been reading through all the family nominations is that the word proud comes up in every single nomination. Um, your families are very proud of you and so are we. So again a, a a very worthwhile process and thank you to everyone who joined in with that. Equally we understand some families are really busy um, and again possibly would have liked to join in but their circumstances at this time didn't allow that. So hopefully you will understand the background process of these end of term awards um, and if you've been nominated, then your certificates will be posted out across the next two weeks. Um, so you should, re should receive them through uh, Royal Mail. So lastly, still on rewards, um, but this is our weekly rewards. We've got hot chocolate with the head um, and the winners this week are on the screen. Poppy and Daniel were nominated for their superb artwork and you can see examples of that on the art department's Instagram. Shannon in year eight for consistently high engagement and her quality of work. Kira in year 10 for her excellent engagement and Ellie in year 11 who's had a very successful bridging week at the QE6 form. So well done to those five people and everyone who gets a certificate from the virtual end of term nominations. Hope you have a very good week. Stay safe and thank you.